there are more than 1,000 varieties of tobacco, but only two are cultivated, Nicosiana tobacum and Nicosiana rustica. Currently, world tobacco production exceeds 7 million tons per year. Growing quality tobacco requires many factors. Tobacco is grown on all five continents. Sowing time is determined by the local climate. Under the condition of good irrigation, the seeds germinate, and after two to three months they are transplanted into prepared fields. From this time to harvest, the tobacco grows and matures for three to five months. Plants need careful care all the time. Harvested depending on the type of tobacco. The shredded tobacco leaves must be fully ripe, and the cigar filling tobacco from the long leaf should be removed earlier. A sign of ripening for light varieties is a greenish yellow color of the leaves, and for dark varieties, the appearance of yellow veins on the upper leaves of the plant. Subsequent processes are drying and fermentation of tobacco. The taste of the final product strongly depends on the drying conditions. After the initial drying, the tobaccos are stored for ripening, for a long time, then they are dried again, cooled, treated with steam, pressed, and the central veins of the leaves are separated. Dark and oriental tobaccos undergo fermentation after drying. There are different fermentation methods. When the leaves are stored in massive bales, the temperature rises, and further oxidation occurs with the destruction of chlorophyll, a decrease in the content of sugar and nicotine. To prevent the leaves from getting too hot, they are turned over. Our tobacco goes through not one fermentation, but two or even three. As a result, the aromatic properties of the product and its consistency are improved, the uniformity of the composition ensures uniform burning. That is why our cigarettes, which have passed several stages of fermentation, are classified as top class products.